we're just here in Munich Airport after the past few days at IGEL Disrupt. I personally thought it was a great event, it was great to have um, a lot of the EUC community in one space talking about what we love um, and what we do and ultimately what's coming in the future. Barry, your thoughts? So I've got to admit, kind of coming out here, I was a little bit dubious as to what a conference uh, by what I presumed is a thin client vendor um, could bring. Would there be enough kind of meat on the bone in terms of the conference, in terms of things for me to take away? Um, I was pleasantly surprised and it was really good for me to attend the conference. First of all, starting off with the iGel training, um, it really kind of brought home to me the fact that what iGel are doing, they are a software company, they're abstracting their software from their hardware. Whilst they have got hardware that certain people may want, others other people have different uh, flavors of technology they prefer to put in or want to repurpose technology or allow people to bring their own technology yep. so I think that abstraction is important it was also interesting to learn some of the things they're doing with the hardware moving forward for for those people that do want a kind of all-in-one package yep. um, However, the rest of the conference, it was kind of, there was choices of iGel um, information if you wanted to, iGel sessions, but the focus of the conference wasn't all about iGel. It was about the wider EUC industry. There were sessions on things like Microsoft Virtual Desktop, Citrix, I'm sure there was some Horizon content in there somewhere as well. Um, and it was really good to, as you say, uh, meet with the community, meet with people that I've spent a lot of time with before, uh, debate the subjects that are really passionate to us so we can have a new way of thinking. Um, Megan, you were lucky enough have to uh, be on the uh, keynote panel at the end of the day. Uh, what did you think? So it was an absolutely amazing experience. So thank you to IGEL for firstly inviting me. Um, and it was also great to see everyone's different opinions. So I was very much focused on the user and the user experience. But um, people like Thomas Poppergaard are obviously focused on the graphics and Ruben, on, uh, Ruben Sprout on frame. Um, so yeah, it was really great experience. I was a little nervous, I will admit. Um, but it was great to have that conversation and actually meet those sort of leaders within the industry. I think one of my key takeaways from today in particular as well was um, Eva Helen was on stage and she's now devoting her career to helping get more women in technology but she actually did it from a different angle. I think she said that there's a lot of people who are talking about women in technology and have women in technology events but the only people who turn up are women. Um, so she actually did a presentation today talking about how men can help get more women in tech, their attitudes, how they can mentor people and I think she spoke about the seven um, characteristics in men and how they can help women in tech so I thought personally I thought that was amazing to see it from a different angle. Definitely, and I think um, it really showed with iGel as well. I think they've got 40% of their US staff are, are now female, and Jed was uh, saying on stage he really believes that the diversity in his team um, is, is leading their success. So I think it is really important that everybody kind of uh, works together to see how we can grow diversity in tech, um, but also see us, see men need to see themselves as the role of being the mentor, looking for those people that are showing the kind of willing, the passion, the energy, and helping them come up through the business. So. All in all, really good conference for me. Really uh, pleased that I came out here to attend and I'm looking forward to next year.